Hello everyone, welcome to How to Browse the Deep Channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can blur moving objects in on uh, in the software and editing software. So let's jump right into the video without wasting any second. So now let's import our video. Go to Project Bin, uh, right click, and here add click or folder. Select the video, grab it, and drag it into the timeline. And here I like to blur this part. make this smaller hey and and now okay after you drag the video here in the timeline what you have to do is to select to cut with shift plus R to cut uh, the part the portion of the video that you want to blur so I like to blur this portion shift R and shift R and actually okay perfect this part so that the next step is to duplicate this video copy and paste okay drag it over the video and drag the video over the other and now what you have to do is to select effects and here please write alpha alpha and here now grab now grab alpha shapes mask and drag it grab it and drag it uh, over the in the video and now here you should see effects composition we have this fade the first effect if you click on this you delete effect and here if you scroll down you'll see more effects and now what we have because we added this mask and why first of all I have to tell you why is because you see this uh, this um, this mask is inside a mask it's uh, it's gonna be blur because that's what we're that's where we're using mask is because we want to add inside this mask blur so I like to blur this entire this all all this okay I want to blur this and now you can also position from here and here and if let's say uh, by the way this is the video from here you can select the video now the blur starts to move not a, not a blur but this uh, window will, be, will move we can also add a keyframe a keyframe means like if I have this here the blur here here and I like to move the blur here. I can do it with, with keyframes. So the video starts here. Uh, let's see. Sorry. So yeah, the let's start at the beginning. We want to add blur here. Let's say yeah, actually here. And then uh, if you want to add, just double click. Okay, this is there's already a keyframe here. We want to remove the keyframe. Uh, you can. Uh, and now we move this okay we want to blur here and now just double click on this key on this uh, okay and you see here a new keyframe and if you go back you see this moved right let me actually let's let's move it actually here and from here let's move it here so we see now a new keyframe you can also click uh, above yeah, the keyframe. If you want to remove it, just double click on the keyframe and remove it. And as you can see now, like the keyframe moves from here to here. Actually, let's move it here. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you. Like, it moves from here to here, here from here. And we add inside this blur, right? So, let's add that blur. So, here, right in the search bar, something like can write blur here and now grab this one and drag it over the video and now if you scroll down you'll see the effect blur and sigma here just increase this and as you can see now our blur is moving where we want and as I said, if you want the blur to move, you need, just need to go to the mask because that's the mask that is 
changing exactly where the blur should be like the mask is here we have this red and inside the mask we have the blur and you can move the blur and add a keyframe move change the position and move it the blur here automatically was added a new keyframe double click on it if you want to remove it for some if you want to okay then move the okay here now move okay so guys let me know in the comment section uh, if you have any questions i'll be happy to help you and if this video helped you out don't forget to subscribe i'll really appreciate that it will help a lot this youtube small uh, this uh, small youtube channel so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video uh, take care